few days ago, a new snapshot for 1.20 was put out, and it completely overhauled the smithing table, adding thousands of combinations of customizable armor. This feature is awesome. If you don't know how it works, basically you take any armor type and combine it with a pattern and a gem or ingot to add a trim. There are 11 different patterns, which are found in the different structures in the game, and 10 different colors based on these various minerals. Not only does this add more uses for stuff like amethyst and copper, but it encourages exploration in a really great way. See, I've always been of the opinion that no matter what the devs try, Minecraft is just fundamentally not a game about exploring. It's a base building game with pretty minor exploration elements. In order for the game to be more friendly to exploration, there would need to be a total overhaul of the inventory system, because anyone who's explored in this game knows that your inventory fills up in about five minutes. Anytime the devs add a crucial item to a structure, like for example the elytra found in end ships, this causes a big problem for multiplayer servers. Players can quickly loot all of the nearby structures and make it really hard for new players to get essential items. The Totem of Undying actually used to be exclusive to Woodland Mansions, and we all know how that ended up. That's why these armor trims are so great, because while they are really cool, they're purely cosmetic and won't really create the same issue that the elytra does. But as awesome as this new smithing table system is, one thing really stuck out to me. The Netherite Upgrade. This item can be found in Bastions and is now necessary in order to put Netherite on armor or tools. It can also be duplicated by crafting it with seven diamonds and a piece of netherrack. And this is what I want to discuss a bit. This item feels extremely lazy. The texture's really odd. It's just a blue arrow on a netherrack colored slab, huh? tablet, tombstone, I'm not really sure. The name is very on the nose as well. How do you upgrade to netherite? With the netherite upgrade. How creative. This really feels like it came from one of those mod packs filled with endless useless items that just lead to other items. I mean, scrolling through all the blocks and the items in the creative menu, I can't think of a single other thing like this. Banner patterns have a somewhat similar concept, but they make a lot of sense in the lore of the game. But this netherite upgrade, I really can't say what role it plays in the broader story of Minecraft. How did the piglins get this technology? Where did they even get the diamonds from? Why is there nether rack in the recipe when it's basically a useless generic stone type block? Before we dive into how this could be made better, I think it's important to figure out what problem this item is attempting to solve. I think the argument is that netherite is too easy to obtain for an end game item and sort of makes diamond armor and tools like an awkward stepping stone. I don't really agree 100%. Personally, I wait until I have all the perfect enchantments on my gear before I add the netherite, which makes it really part of the end game for me. But I can definitely see the argument that in its current state, it's a bit too easy to obtain for how overpowered it is. So now that we know the problem, we can assess whether the netherite upgrade is a good solution. And yeah, I don't think it is at all. For a player to get full netherite armor and tools, they would need to raid several bastions, and there are only four different unique bastion layouts. Eventually, this will just become extremely tedious, and it's really just more annoying than it is difficult after the first few bastions. Not to mention that this could cause the same problem for multiplayer servers that the elytra does. But luckily, Mojang decided to make the upgrade craftable to prevent that sort of thing. But the crafting recipe really defeats the purpose of making this whole process more difficult in the first place. Now all you need to do is just add more diamonds, which players often have plenty of anyhow, since most players I know just trade for their diamond armor and tools instead of mining for it. But what bugs me more is that it just makes no sense. Why are diamonds needed to coat diamond armor with netherite? Huh? What role is the netherrack playing in the recipe? So in summary, I think the main issues with this item are a complete lack of lore and a generally unpolished feel, and a slight miss on the attempt to make netherite harder to get. One Twitter user mentioned that the item could simply be retextured to some sort of piglin scroll, and I like this idea because of the simplicity and how it solves the lore issue, but I think we can do even better. What if in order for netherite to be applied to diamonds, there needs to be some sort of bonding agent? One source of amazing lore in the game is potions. For example, we can see that gas tears are used in potions of regeneration and also in the recipe for end crystals, which heal the dragon. So gas tears have regenerative properties. So maybe we could add a new item that then gets crafted with magma cream. Not only is magma cream crafted with slime balls, which are sticky and would make sense as a bonding agent, but they're also used for fire resistance potions, implying that the magma cream would make the diamonds more fire resistant, allowing it to bond with the netherite. To get magma cream in bulk, you'd either need to make a magma cube farm or a slime farm and a blaze farm, which adds a significant barrier. Perhaps the nether star could also be part of the recipe, as it's difficult to obtain and is currently only used in beacons. The nether star concentrates a beacon into a beam, so maybe its role in the recipe is to concentrate the effect of the magma cream. Maybe you could even craft or smelt the nether star into nether stardust, adding a cool new powder item to the game. As for the mystery item, maybe it's the entire reason the bastions were constructed. Some sort of new powerful element that the piglins created in order to harness the power of netherite. It's so powerful that they've built these giant fortresses 
just to guard the technology. I'm no game dev expert, so I'm sure the community can come up with better ideas than I have here. It is worth noting that the other smithing templates are crafted in a similar way, with the middle block swapped out to match the structure that they correspond to, but these don't really bother me. I might switch up the crafting recipe a little if it were me making the game, but at the same time, they give an additional use to diamonds in the end game, and they make enough sense at surface level. It's really just the act of upgrading your diamond armor to netherite that I think should have a much cooler mechanic. It's one of the most important accomplishments in the game, and I just think it deserves to be more special and unique. Maybe I'm being nitpicky, but hey, I love this game and it's really important to me. I know Mojang gets a lot of complaints, but I hope that's not how this video is viewed. The whole point of the snapshots is so that Mojang can hear community feedback, so I tried to keep this as constructive as possible. But honestly, I do think the item in its current form is very lazy, but it's just a snapshot. Everything we see is a work in progress. I just hope this can start a conversation about how to make this new feature a whole lot cooler. Let me know your cool ideas in the comments down below, and thanks for watching.